from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Maddie Kirker. All right, uh, welcome back. Time now is 7.09 on this beautiful start to our Friday. You can see we've got mainly sunny skies out there at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. And I do hope that you're watching this morning looking for a reason to be out and about. And the weather should be one of your biggest reasons because we've got low humidity today and pretty comfortable temperatures given the fact it's going to be the end or it is the end of June. Uh, temperatures right now are in the mid to upper 60s currently, 65 for the peninsula and 67 in North Carolina. Dew points currently very comfortable in the low 60s and the dew point is the measure of moisture in the air. Whenever you have those numbers in the 60s or 50s, it translates to pretty dry air in place. So it is going to feel pretty good on your skin out there for the day today. Now also speaking of the day today is it is National Take Your Dog to Work Day. So maybe you're joining us and you're thinking I really want to take my dog to work. Well now you have an excuse, right? That's why you watch this program. You always get a lot of great ideas here. Uh, so lots of sunshine all day long if you're going to be taking your best friend to work. By noon we'll be in the upper 70s and low 80s by 5 o'clock. So if you do take your best friend to work, it's also going to be comfortable for them when you do take them on a nice little stroll, maybe a nice little lunch break. All right, temperatures over the next couple of days are going to be going up. Upwards. Uh, for the day today, we're looking at 82. Normal for this time of year is actually 88. So we're well below normal. We'll take it. Uh, 85 for tomorrow. Upper 80s do make a comeback though for Sunday and Monday before we really get cooler by Tuesday with highs in the 70s. Again, dew point forecast uh, as we head through this afternoon looking really good. Low 60s for today and tomorrow. It does get more muggy though as we head into early next week. What about rainfall, right? Do the dogs need to have their rain boots? Well, the answer is no because we've got high pressure moving into the west and uh, this will lead to that sinking air uh, and not allowing any clouds really to be forming, allowing that uh, rain chance to be pretty low out there this morning, other than some fog, of course, which we have been reporting across our western locations closer to I-95. So your forecast for the day today, mostly sunny skies, plenty of sunshine, and a nice little breeze coming in off of the water around uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the northeast today. Heading into this evening, a wonderful evening as well. Uh, overnight tonight, mainly clear skies. I do think we'll have another round of fog tomorrow morning. So heads up if you have any plans early on Saturday. Models want to paint in some fog. Second half of Saturday though, mostly sunny once again. So another beautiful day on tap for tomorrow. Rain chances for the next five days really increasing as we head into Monday and Tuesday. That's going to be a cold front. We talked about that yesterday, but this cold front moves in, leads to showers and thunderstorms. And I think some of that rain lingers into early on Tuesday. So that'll be our next highest rain and storm chance. But not for the weekend. We're looking at a beautiful weekend. If you maybe want to head out to Pride Fest there at Town Point Park on Saturday, 85 for tomorrow. Just a step warmer than today. 88, definitely a little bit more hot and humid on Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds. For today, your forecast, patchy fog, very comfortable, plenty of sunshine and less humid today, very pleasant 82. Next couple of days, really enjoy the sunshine, grab the sunglasses and you will uh, have a beautiful stretch at least for the next three days. Then as we head into early next week, this is our next cold front. This cold front could actually lead to some showers and thunderstorms out across the region and then uh, some lingering showers though as we head into Tuesday. Tuesday also is going to be the coolest day with highs in the upper 70s.